Hi, how you doing? Justin here with another quick tip for you. And today we are talking about using volume to clean up your dirty sound. Now, the volume I'm talking about isn't the actual volume, it's the volume control on your guitar. Now, it's kind of obvious to think that, well, the volume control on the guitar controls the volume, right? It's in the name. Seems pretty obvious. But when you're using distortion, the volume control for the first part doesn't seem to alter much in the volume department, but it does alter stuff in the gain department. So I'm using here a Sir Badger 30 with a little bit of gain on the amp and an Analog Man King of Tone pedal. Um, and I got it, got it as a crunchy sound. <laughs> not real heavy but you know heavy enough but if I just back that volume off a little bit to like six and a half seven it's a lot cleaner right? just that little bit you still got it's almost the same volume it's not quite right almost the same and it's the kind of thing where if you're playing in a band, particularly if you've got a front of house engineer, it can be a great trick to be just backing your volume off a little bit for your rhythm guitar, and when it comes time to do the solo, to crank your volume control up instead of having to run around and jumping on a load of pedals. You know, If you're on your own and you don't have front of house, then you probably need to, some sort of boost draw to use a different pedal. But uh, it's a really, really useful tip. And it's not just about the actual volume thing. You know, it's, it's really about tone. It's really a lot to do with the tone that you're getting. You know, there's a lot of times when if you're playing and it sounds a little bit crunchy, rather than jumping down and changing your pedal or your amp setting, you might want to try backing the volume off a little bit first. You know, a lot of times, particularly in rock, people tend to over distort stuff. Like ACDC, the guitar sound is not very distorted at all. It's just a l really loud amplifier and you get a, a lot of this kind of natural distortion that happens. But if you listen to the sound closely, it's not distorted, it's not gainy like a, uh, I don't know, a Joe Satriani heavy rock sound or whatever. They're completely different. Now, important here, I've talked about before about exploring your gear. Different guitars and different amps and different pedals will all function slightly differently. So, like Gibson guitars have got a, quite a different effect when you turn the volume down. They don't seem to drop as much as quickly and then it seems to drop off a little more sudden. Right? So, for the strats kind of work good for this. Different amplifiers will work different and different pedals will set, have, a, it'll have a different effect depending on what pedals you've got on. So, this is the kind of thing you need to explore on your gear. Like I've said to you on this strat, it's like six and a half, seven is where you get that kind of nice break off and it's not dirty anymore. It's not as dirty. It's kind of a bit cleaner and kind of crunchy sounding rather than dirty sounding. Um, but it's different on all, all the different guitars. So it's worth exploring on your instrument and seeing how it affects your sound. Uh, I hope that helps you with your tone journey. I'll see you for lots more lessons very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.